Hey guys, it's Thunder here, and welcome to Rivals, episode number two, and in today's episode, we're moving over to the Xbox 360 for Forza Motorsport 4. Today's episode comes at the request of HG underscore Kaiju, and he says, can you do a rivalry on two different Nissans that were kind of bailed around the same time to see which one's better? The two Nissans in particular are the Nissan 1969 Nissan Fairlady Z432 and the 1971 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTI. Now, this because Forza uses a PI system, on paper it seems like the the Skyline does tend to be a little bit better because it has 213 PI, whereas the Datsun Fairlady Z has 205. They both have these, uh, their speed is also a bit different. The Fairlady Z432 has a 3.0 speed versus a 3.5 for the, for the Skyline, but... The Datsun has a better handling at 4.4 versus 4. Acceleration, however, is a little bit down and launch is a little bit down on the Skyline with 5.5 and XL and 5.8 braking launch for the Skyline versus 5.3 XL and 5.7 launch for for yeah 5.3 for the Fair Lady. But and they're both and but the brake again the Fair Lady does make up again for the braking at 4.4 versus just 4 for the Skyline. Statistically wise, you get 100, both cars make 160 horsepower and 133 pound feet of torque. The Fairlady Z weighs lighter at 2,308 pounds versus 2,425 pounds. Weight distribution is 51% at the front for the fair, for the 432 and 54% for the Skyline 2000 GTR. Both these 2 liter engines, and of course, you may be telling where this is going price wise, we're looking at just $12,000 for the Fairlady Z432. Versus twenty eight thousand for the Skyline two thousand GTR. So honestly, this really is no contest. The first point for price performance because we're going to be doing the same five points for like we did with Grand Turismo four. We're going to be looking at price for performance, zero to four hundred or quarter mile in the case of this game. Top speed, circuit lap time, and overall driving experience. The first point goes to the Fairlady Z432 for costing over 16 grand less for pretty much uh, a very similar performance. Now I don't have to go and buy these two cars, and I don't. I'm not. I'm not going to have to go look at the their horsepower stats in the uh, garage because unlike Gran Turismo, it doesn't change for this game. So we're going to be. Go let's go right into the free play, and we're going to do our hot lapping. We're going to. Take both cars and see how they do in a zero to four hundred time. I just gotta scroll over to Nissan first, and we're gonna hop into the Fairlady Z four three two first. And this is where you get to see all the different kind of colors for the car too, as well. Unfortunately, no blue for this car, which would have been nice. So for this car, we're gonna just—I'd say we're just—we're gonna stick with this kind of yellowish color that comes with the car because it's—it's a nice, its a decent color. Anyways, I'm going to go to man. If we're going to do a uh, uh, zero quarter mile, we're going to go for manual. And we're going to be doing our testing, of course, at the Sedona Raceway Park for a quarter mile. Okay, so the Fairly Z432, of course, like I meant, as shown earlier, will be going first to set the benchmark for a quarter mile time. Can can the lighter car prove, prove more versatile at a quarter? At a quarter mile, than the than the Scott the heavier Skyline, which which makes about again roughly the same amount of power, and both cars you know have a rear wheel drive configuration. Well, the Fairlady Z432 does the quarter mile in 16.133 seconds. So let's see what the so let's see if the Skyline can actually best that. Now remember, the time for the Skyline 2000 GTR to beat is a 16.133 second time. Can the Skyline pull it off? This is where we'll be able to see if that little extra bit of PI really does mean anything for the car, or if it's just there to kind of be nothing more but a, a statistic. Gets off the line, got off the line pretty well. Oh, just, just at 16.04, oh, that is the wrong board. At 16.049, it only, it just by a little under a tenth, Beats out the Fair Lady 240Z, which means that with with the win over in the quarter mile, the the Skyline 2000 GTR ties it up at one point apiece. Okay, so now the third the third uh, thing to judge these cars, of course, on is the top speed test. 
Now we have a little bit of an issue here. In the Forza series, there's never really been a proper long like oval area to properly determine the top speed of cars. It's the best place to, 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 have, to try to get a close uh, evaluation to what the top speed of a car could do is in this case the Le, Ma Le Mans uh, straightaway here at Circuit de la Sarthe, the Mulsanne Street, I'm sorry, because uh, of course there is a no chicane variant. So we're going to be using this to find out the top speed of, of both cars because the Skyline won in the quarter mile is going first. So let's see what the top end of the Skyline 2000 GTR will give us. And for this, why don't we go into interior view to, so you can kind of get a, a bit of a look at what the inside of this car looks like in this game. So, so far we've gotten the car up to roughly about 100 miles an hour. So it's about 100, let's see, kind of up to 110. And I, can, I, I can also switch over to the uh, telemetry here. Looks like we're mostly... For the most part, probably going to be coasting along fourth gear here on 124, 125. <coughs> Come on, 126. We're doing 127. Is there anything else this car has? 128. <coughs> what 129? I did see 129, so I'm going to count that as 129. But it looks like after that, it's not got much left. Although that is a little bit of a hail. Come on, there we go. 129. 130 even. What if we shift up to a gear? What's going to happen? Oh, we still we still got some forward momentum. Yep, 130. Looks like we're going to be... The best that we're going to achieve out of this skyline is about 130. But there's still a little bit more runway. Oh, I kind of screwed that up a little bit now. But yep. It looks like for top end, the Skyline 2000 GTR does about roughly 130 miles an hour. I can't get as accurate as I could with Gran Turismo because it won't, because it doesn't show like extra digits after that. But yeah, about 130 is the speed that we were able to record in the Skyline 2000 GTR. So let's go see what the top end of the Fair Lady Z432 will do. Okay, so it's now time to see just how well these Fair Lady Z432 will do here. Now remember, the top speed that this car must beat is a 130 mile an hour run, the Skyline 2000 GTR set. So, can the Fair Lady Z432 regain the lead if it can do a better top speed? Well, we're about to find out. And I accidentally reversed a little bit too far into that wall there, so it's a little bit of a dent now. Oops. Let's go into camera view. Let's go in the... Uh, in car view, so we don't have to look at that. Well, again, it may take a little bit longer because, again, the Skyline 2000 GTR did have a better uh, quarter mile run at 16.049 versus the 16.133 that was set by the Fair Lady Z432. And currently, we're kind of coasting about right now, going roughly about 115. 116, 117, 118, okay, come on, come on more, we need more, 119, 120, I don't know about this, this is feeling a bit slower, I'm, I think it might be just that, 121, ooh, this is not exactly a promising sign, that's for sure, 120, 121, come on, any higher, now let's get any, I switch over to telemetry here, Oh boy, only 131. I'm not 131, 121. 121. 122. Yep. Any more? Can we get one more? 123. That might be it. 120, again, 122. It looks like we aren't going to get any much more out of this car because, yep, we're now coming up the hill. We're losing speed. It's pretty much all that the Fairly Z432 could write. Only 123 miles an hour. It was not able to get to 130. Which means that with the 130 mile an hour top speed, the Skyline 2000 GTR now pulls into the lead with a 2 to 1 point advantage.
But can the Fairlady Z432 make it up uh, at our for our one lap or our for the best lap time around a track? So, for our circuit lap time, we're going to be using Sakuba Circuit for today's episode, as it was the requested track by Kaiju. So, because the Fairly Z432 is currently down by a point, we're going to let it go first to set the lap time. Now, the Fairly Z432 might definitely need to, to hope it can do a little bit better here because, well, that, that poor showing from the top speed run may have diminished it a little bit, but if we can get a better lap time out of this, again, uh, because we, ha we, we do a standing start, we're going to be giving it three flying laps, kind of similar to how I do it with the uh, Need for Speed Mod Showcase series. So, we're just going to try to see w what exactly we can get out of these cars and kind of hope that, you know, it can, it can do a little bit better, and that's kind of getting a bit... Uh, Harry, there was, could have been paying a little bit more attention. Okay, slow down. All right, in. You can, you can just hear that little en S engine going. It's kind of interesting that the 240Z has a lower top end, especially when you consider the fact that it's a it, ha it makes about the same power as the Skyline 2000 GTR and is lighter. So it's a bit strange that on top end it's not as good. It's a like, it is genuinely very surprising, but of course, I'm not the one who designed it, so don't exactly always take my word for it. And, or, don't take my word for it. Don't exactly understand. It's just, you know, it's just how it goes sometimes. Anyways. It's just gotta be, I just gotta be careful here. Gotta go. Just ease it. Yes, I know I'm using the braking only line. Some people, some sim fans will probably be very mad at me for doing that. I'm not the best at braking in this game, so I kind of got to get, kind of got to keep practicing at it. It's not as not as familiar with the with, with the, when it comes to the physics in this game than I am with Gran Turismo, so you know. All right, ease up. Okay, careful. We just need to get that power down. Just be just because the Fairly Z432 can't get up to uh, as high as the top end doesn't mean we can't at least see if we can really give it this thing a fighting chance to try to set a really good lap. God, we're a bit we're a bit we got a bit crooked there, but we're okay. Alright, come on, let's see what we'll get here. Alright, a 114.452 for the first lap. Of course we can probably improve on that by a little bit. Take the outside. Nicely done. Probably didn't need to go too much on the outside for that one, but eh, whatever. Just, just not gonna lie, that wasn't exactly a very great entry around there. But that was, but that was definitely a lot better there. So come on. Let's try to make up for that for that little bit earlier on. Good, get some speed going out of there. All right, there we go. We're, we're improving our time by a little bit. Come on, let's keep pushing this to our car. I would like to see this at least stand a bit of a fighting chance because I would love to see this come down to the nitty gritty. I mean, of course, I don't know what the Skyline 2000 GTR is going to do, but, you know, I would still like to see it. Alright. We're going to get a 114.181 on that attempt. That was, that was good. We managed to get it down to nearly sub 114. But can we find that little bit of extra time that we need to actually get it down to sub 114? We actually got a bit of a slide on the way out for that one. That was a bit interesting. Still a pretty good, still a pretty good corner there, so... Ooh, that could have been better. Oh, that definitely could have been better. That was ugly. Come on. Ooh, some of this is not looking exactly the prettiest, but I just gotta keep trying here. 
Maybe let's see if that entrance was any better. It, it felt like it. No? Really? Shit, we're, we're falling down. Oh, God. Okay, well, it looks like a 114-181 is going to be the time we set then with the uh, Fairly Z432 here. I mean, that last corner there was really good, but we're already too far down, so even though we were able to get it down a little bit after the previous split, it wasn't enough. But a 114-181, I'd say, is still a pretty good time. Let's see if the Skyline 2000 GTR can go for the win, or if it just falls flat of that time. Okay, so let's see if the 2000 GTR this time will be able to go for the overall victory, or... If, it, if around the track it just can't quite cope with it as well as the Fair Lady Z432. Now, of course, the Skyline does have the better acceleration and the better speed. So it, could, it may be able to use it to its advantage. But, oh, that's a bit interesting. Again, this car has got some slide to it. And it may be a little bit more than the Z432, which is a bit interesting. You consider Considering the fact that this is a bit of a heavier vehicle, I thought it may have been a little better balanced. But apparently not so much. I mean, there's still a chance we could still get a better lap time with this. But it, but I'm not... But I wasn't, I wasn't even able to go flat out on that corner there, too. And, and look at that. It's even sliding a little bit more. So it seems a little less refined. It's a little... More, a little more work has to be put in this car, so, to be able to really get it down. But nevertheless, it is still moving quite well, so it could still have a chance of beating the time it, 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 that, that Fair Lady 2-4-Z set. And we're going to want to ease up here. Okay, careful. Okay, this should be interesting to see what we set here. It's a 122. I think the Fairlady Z432 did do a faster lap on that one, so. Okay, careful now. Careful now. Okay. This thing really needs to, you really need to be a bit more cautious with this car. I, I, I honestly thought the Fairlady would have been a bit more of a handful, but apparently it's the Skyline that's a bit more of a handful, which is really surprising. I did not... I honestly didn't expect that, to be perfectly honest, so. I mean, I'm still trying to see what I can here to kind of, you know, stable up the car and, you know, ma make of it, you know, a better time. And it so far seems to be working out. But, you know, still a little bit of work at that. That first and second gears combination is not particularly very good, I will say. This, but this could be close. I mean, I have a very good feeling this could potentially be a very close result. Okay. This thing is sliding a bit. Oh, God, look at that. That thing, this thing, it likes to slip up. But, oh, oh look at that. Just barely 114, 126 for the skyline. So, we really, we, we don't really need to keep going further at this. It... Within the first flying lap attempt, we've already bested the 114-181. Not by much, though, but then again, that last corner did re revolve in a lot of sliding. And, and again, I'm not exactly the best at this game. I, I, I do have to keep trying to learn to get a little bit of a better results out of these cars. But, but yeah, it's, it requires a little bit more work to get the time out of the skyline. But once you get it down, you can do a better lap time, so... So, let's just keep going until we've done the same amount of laps, just to, you know, just to kind of make it a little bit more fair. Alright. What are we going to set this time if we can keep this thing a little bit more under control for this final sp spot here? Okay, that was definitely a lot more smoother. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. It slipped up again, but we did get it down even further to a 114.061. So that is a, a very interesting. Even though it, the Skyline has bested the Fairlady in both, you know, like 0400 and track time, it honestly hasn't bested it by much. The two cars are very close to one another, and and maybe and depending on maybe your your 
the way you drive the cars. Maybe the other, it could be the other way around for maybe, but for maybe both cases. But for me, I'm getting slightly better times with the skyline. So just kind of careful there. That did seem to work out pretty well. Okay, careful up. All right. Yeah, this is, this one may be pretty good. I mean, look, judging by that split, we could potentially bring it down a little bit more. I th and again, I think it just comes to that slightly better acceleration and the fact that you know it gets up to because it the fact that it gets up to speed a little better. Careful now. Oh, look at that. Refined, nice and clean. 113.652. So interesting. So again, personally, maybe with a little bit more practice, I could get that fairly Z432 close down. But in a state of what we managed to do with the 113.652, the Skyline takes the victory for the for the circuit lap time around Sakuba and gets the overall victory with a 3 to 1 points lead. Meaning that today's winner, of course, is the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, which is why I'm doing celebratory donuts within the Skyline right now. But, even though we know the Skyline is the overall victor, what about one other thing? The, and that is the overall driving experience. Now, as I was mentioning earlier, whilst the fact that the Skyline 2000 GTR is slightly faster, er, and and you can get better time, slightly better times with it. It also requires more work to be put into the car to be able to reach that. Similar to the, uh, to similar to the Subaru Impreza that we had in yesterday in the last episode with Gran Turismo 4, and that's the difference when it comes to the the, the Fairlady Z432, because the Fairlady Z432 is more refined. It's easier to get into. It's more controllable and. Honestly, when you really consider it, it has that massive price point difference of about roughly $16,000 less than the Skyline, and it's not even that far off. Kind of really makes it more worth looking towards this as the, as the car to go to. This just generally seems like the better option, because even if it's a little bit off the pace, it's in the, zero to, in the quarter mile, is off... is about roughly seven miles an hour off on top speed and is a, about roughly half a second off the skyline around Sakuba. Then again, maybe I could have, maybe if you're a little more familiar with the way these cars handle in this game, you could probably do a bit better, maybe with both cars. The Fairlady Z432 just feels like a, a more gentle car, a more easy to get into car. And honestly, if you're honestly asking me personally, a better looking car as well. So when it comes down to personal driving experience, I gotta give the nod to the Fairlady Z432. I just think it's a nicer car to drive in this game. It's just, and it's just, it's just a more interesting car to me, especially for the price point. So what that means is that it leads into the overall final score of a three to two victory for the Skyline 2000 GTR. The Skyline gets the three points in zero to four in the zero to four hundred. Uh, top speed and circuit lap time around Sakuba, whilst the 240Z or Fairlady Z432, sorry, gets the, gets the two points in both price and overall driving experience. So, that's going to do a wrap for this episode. The next episode, we'll be heading back to Gran Turismo 4 for a bit of a probably slower episode. Why do I even say probably? We know it's going to be slower. But... You're going to want to stay tuned for that regardless. And as always, you guys can follow me at Twitter at HGCentralYT. You can join my forums at HGCentral.FreeForums.net. You can donate to my Patreon if you want to help support the account. It's not required, but thank you very much if you decide to do so. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.